In this presentation, we will discuss BACnet network numbers and how they are used. Essentially, when multiple BACnet networks are created within the site's BACnet network, we create BACnet network segments. These segments require a unique BACnet number assigned to identify them on the site's BACnet topology. The segmented networks are still seen as one large local BACnet over IP network on the site. All the network numbers are configured via Omni using Focus or Omni's web server. Planning the network is an important aspect of the project and should form part of the initial network design document to keep track of the network number topology as shown in this example. Each BACnet segment on the network requires a unique BACnet network number. The network segments help to guide the BACnet traffic and data to specific points and devices on the network providing a more efficient flow of information around the system. A local network is the internal and local side of the local area network. No data is being transmitted outside of this network and it's kept local. The default network number for the local network is 1. A public network is a wide area network connected to the internet. Public networks allow you to send data out to other networks via a router providing the ability to connect to a remote site or share data across sites. The default public network number is 2. On this local site, we have two Omni controllers and two BACnet over IP power meters connected. As this is using the local network for communications, there is only one BACnet network required. Its network number is set to the default of 1. All BACnet devices will be discovered via one BACnet UDP connection in ICOM. If we connect an MSTP network to the Omni controller, we essentially have created a new BACnet segment which requires a unique network number to be set. When the port is activated as MSTP, the network number defaults to 3. This is due to the fact that numbers 1 and 2 are already in use for the local and public networks. As mentioned earlier, the BACnet networks are seen as one BACnet network and all these BACnet devices will be seen in ICOM via one BACnet UDP connection. As additional BACnet network segments are created, in this case by adding a new MSTP connection to the Omni controller, the network number must be checked and configured. In this example, I have assigned network number 4 to the new segment. All the BACnet devices will be discovered via the BACnet connection in ICOM. If duplicate network numbers are used, this creates a conflict and the network segments will not be found and essentially are offline. Either of the port settings will need to be corrected by altering the port's network number to be unique. This will then allow the networks to function correctly. Here I've added an MSTP device on the other Omni controller. Following the procedure, I've configured the new network segment as network number 5. This new MSTP device can then be discovered via the BACnet connection in ICOM. The public network is used for access to the site via a router. The public BACnet network is another segment with a network number 2 by default. ICOM can connect to this site via a BACnet foreign device connection. All BACnet devices are discovered via this connection. For more information on remote network connections, refer to the networking videos. The network number settings can be configured via Focus or Omni's web server. If the settings are configured via the web server, ensure that the configuration is transferred back into Focus to obtain the final updated configuration. During the design process, when using BACnet comms inputs or outputs, we recommend using the specific network number target. As shown in this example, I have set the BACnet comms input to read back the analog value from the BACnet MSTP device installed on network number 3. This helps to optimise and create an efficient BACnet network traffic flow. This also can be used for the BACnet comms output block to target a specific device and object on a specific network number. In summary, each network segment must have a unique network number assigned. 
The local network number is 1 and the public network number is 2 by default. When an Omnicoms port is configured as MSTP, it will default to network number 3. All the network numbers are not auto-assigned other than the defaults and will need to be checked and adjusted when creating the networks to prevent duplicates.